Hello everyone, we are group 2, I'm the desert or teammate, this is Wu, Lei, Zhong, and Li, Shi, and my name is Peter. So today our topic is strategy development of Greymark and uh, their business ethic and the CSR interests. Okay, so this part is introduction. Uh, so Primark was signed in 1969 with a long-term business development. It had 316 stores in 12 countries. They employed more than 75,000 in the, in the world. As the chart show, in the recent year, it's a great increase of the business. Generally, the business of Primark can be identified as fast fashion. The fast fashion means is the way to make clothing to make sure the clothes is make fast and cheap. However, uh, in in the modern business environment, a lot, a lot of combination and the public to to try to avoid fast fashion. So therefore, Primark have to fix the business insect and the CSR insurance. In the uh, facet of this. In order to achieve the future development of their business, Primark also needs to pay a great attention to analyze the micro and the mac business environment. So because of that reason, now my team member they will provide the mac business environment to analyze the passive fireworks. Uh, in this part, I will discuss the first three factors in pastel free work for the uh, macro business environmental analysis, considering the political factors as the business of Primark are mainly operating in some developed countries. Uh, therefore, there should be a stable political environment to support their business development. Uh, however, as uh, now Primark is belongs to a UK organization, Brexit may make some negative influence on its business operation. In addition, in the economic aspect, as this figure shows, there is a stable economic growth in the world. However, the economic growth of Primark's main business operating areas is significantly lower than the average level of the world. On the other hand, the faster economic growth of emerging market and the developing country may be considered as an opportunity for Primark to achieve their further business development. And then the social factor should also be discussed. Firstly, in the modern business environment, there is a global consensus among young generation. Uh, however, the challenges of uh, cultural differences uh, should also be noticed during the process of their business development. Uh, besides of this, there is the most uh, basic risk that many communities and the public uh, are trying to avoid fast fashion due to its uh, negatively impact on the sustainability. Next, uh, my team member will provide the discussion of following three factors. Now I will assess the technological fact in a global business environment. In general, the faster development of technology, especially in commerce and social media. For Primark, it's important opportunities to expand their business. To be more specific, according to the United Nations, the value of e-commerce achieved uh, $29 trillion in 2019. <coughs> in addition, uh, about uh, 2.62 billion individuals can be contacted in social media. That means Primark can use the internet to go their e-commerce. Especially social media can can help Primark go global market. Uh, however, cons considering the environmental factors, <coughs> there are many communities believe that uh, fast fashion can have a huge negative impact. 
where there's the four um, four main negative impact in the study. Uh, these four points. Uh, actually, uh, we can find more of this information uh, through the website of many local communi com uh, communities and organizations. Finally, the legal factor should also be pointed out. Uh, the law of environment protection and the huge rights uh, should be mainly considered. Uh, there are two examples for the law in the UK. This is for example, which will greatly impact on the business of Primark. For following this, my partner will provide the evaluation of the macro business environment with Porter's five foxes. Uh, I will talk about the existing competitors of Primark. Uh, please look at this picture. Uh, it shows the rent of the fast fashion brand, um, as well known as uh, some fast fashion brand. There are uh, Topshop and uh, Poor Bear and as also as Primark. We can see that Primark is only ranked uh, at uh, 15th. Uh, okay, we will talk about uh, the other point that uh, um, <coughs> we have uh, we have a medium throat of new interest. Um, there are no barriers to enter a uh, fashion industry. To go to a uh, clothing industry is uh, easy, but uh, it's hard to uh, establish the brand image and uh, the reputation. To become a good uh, um, clothing company is not very easy. And also, it has a high risk of bargain power of buyers. And the buyers can have many choice, but, uh, but uh, the consumers also um, increase their extension expectation of the fashion brand. Um, but it has a, a low bargaining power of suppliers. There are many numbers of suppliers. We can have many choice of the suppliers, but uh, um, <coughs> but actually in the global environment, it has a strict code of the conduct for supplier selection. The, finally, it has low risk of substitutes products and service. We lack of uh, substitutes. Uh, firstly, CSR refers to corporate social responsibility, which means the organization should not only focus on maximizing their profit, but also they need to pay attention to fulfill the expectation of their multiple stakeholders. Uh, in this case, Primark provide uh, their MSA uh, st statement uh, every year to show the rights of their employees and uh, even all the staff in their supply chain. This should be considered as a good point of Primark to take their CSR. However, many communities claim it. the behavior of Primark do not match with the ISO 26000, which is a CSR standard provide the guidance on how business and organizations can operate in a socially responsible way. Uh, in this case, Primark are claiming that their fast fashion supply chain leads to great cost to the environment. Uh, also, they provide some uh, donates for environmental uh, protection, and uh, in many other aspects, uh, they should take uh, further responsibility uh, to reduce uh, greenhouse gas emission and uh, waste water in their operation. Even they do use laser and uh, coal to produce their products uh, without uh, standing their uh, sources. 
Besides of this, Primark uh, is the climate a uh, terrible condition. Some of their uh, workshops, uh, is, this is uh, problematic uh, for both our foreign friends and uh, factors work. Because of this reason, Primark should pay uh, great attention to improve their uh, ethic uh, behaviors in the business and uh, a war of uh, importance of taking uh, CSR. Finally, my team member will provide a conclusion for our presentation. In conclusion, with the macro and the micro business environmental analysis, there are a series of opportunities can be found in global market for Primark to develop its business. Firstly, the relevant stable political and economic factors in environment can greatly uh, support Primark to uh, develop its businesses. The second one is th there is a rapid development of emerging markets and developing countries. This part of areas can be considered as the new target market for Primark to, to expand its businesses. Uh, you know, uh, internet and social media is developing very fast. Um, I think it can be considered as, uh, as uh, opportunities for Primark to expand its businesses internationally. Um, Global, global consistence of young generation allows them to have a standardized production to, uh, in the operation, which will save a, a large amount of costs for them. However, uh, there, there, there are also some risks uh, in the global business environment. The first one, uh, the first one is uh, with the development of human society, people are, are notice the importance of sustainable development. There are a lot of communities uh, encourage people to avoid fast fashion. In addition, there are increasing higher expectation about fashion products, services, etc. Then uh, break, uh, Brexit may, may also bring some risks for, uh, for Primark. Uh, finally, uh, is the most important, aggressive competition. Uh, aggressive competition should, uh, should also be considered as the main uh, risks for Primark to develop their international business strategies. Uh, Finally, uh, we can find that there are a lot of ethic and CSR issues about Primark's business that will also make significantly negative influence on their business. Therefore, for the fur further business development, as just before, Primark may need to pay a great attention on improving their ethic behaviors in the business to carry their CSR. That's all, thank you.